Whenever you'd have to try something new, the point is don't bother making the, you know, logical sense. Especially if someone is telling you to do it and you know that that person is wiser or more knowledgeable than you, if they are telling you this, the point is very simple. Don't bother building the logical sense for why you should do something new because at the same time you are technically building the boundaries that will prevent you from doing so. Many people nowadays become slaves of their mind because when people suffer from traumas and not knowing how to control their own energies and physical body in the correct way, the point is a lot of traumas and karma appear. Now, these are also inflicted by other people and in time the pain can become really really frustrating. So the point is, people will tend more or less to the minds because the mind can be a very powerful distraction. But the mind unfortunately is just a minor bit of what our being truly is. And the point is, many people will use the mind as a drug. Every impulse that people uh, fall for is technically a software they have built or let's say they have gotten used to the mind being the so-called rescue. Every time something that they don't like happens, they will instinctively try to derail themselves right from that pain or what I call the aspirin syndrome right but any painkiller is just that a painkiller it is not a disease solver right the problem is not solved it's just that the pain is gone so unfortunately people will harass their well their, their physical body and their energy bodies even more now when it comes to you doing something for the first time when especially if you are guided to do so by someone whom you know and trust the point is every time you are going to create um, a logical sense for why you should do things that way the point is your mind since it has been you know programmed by your beliefs and ideas uh, it has been programmed to simply seek for the worst right it's always the worst that you expect so the point is every time you try to make a logical sense on why you should do that thing at the same time your mind is automatically looking for reasons why you shouldn't do that thing right because that is how the human mind works if you program it that way right don't forget that most people are well as i call perilous right they always expect the worst so all these being said be careful when you create your own ideas and pay great attention how you train your own mind because many people then enter victimhood right they always find all sorts of solutions and so-called possibilities right like it's always a demon possessing them it's always something bad that is doing them but they have been using their mind in a so uh, repetitive way right in a certain pattern and when you create patterns pattern means karma it means an imprint right uh, let's say that you have programmed your mind through a repetitive software right it is just a set energy that you have created an attachment towards right people feel safe when they are distracted because they are away from their own pains right they are disconnected from their emotions but it only means that you are technically dead because well if you are disconnected from your own emotions well you don't feel anything about life so that's why people feel dead when actually they feel numb right all this being said hopefully this video was introspective enough you are appreciated take care Ferenjan Board signing out